Hey ladies, so I am back. Ladies with locks, the desire to wear wigs. I have um, some alternatives to when your hair is like this, when it's still babies and frizzy and um, but you you want to maintain, you want to you want to do something a little bit different. So fine, that's see, see how see how disobedient that little child is right there. See that? See how? That's why. That's why. We, we wear wigs. So anyway, you need a few tools, okay? I do love my locks. Um, you need a few tools. We're gonna do an Afro wig. This is the Afro wig that I am doing. Now I don't know. I don't know that this one has a name, or if it did, I've gotten it so long ago at a local beauty um, beauty supply store. Um, and all of them have them. I'm telling you, they do in different colors. Um, this one is old, like I told you, because it doesn't even have combs inside of it. It just has like the strap there. And I had to, you know, buckle my strap like that because buckling it back here to the back, the wig was still too big for my head. Okay, so that's one thing you're going to need. You're going to need your Afro wig. Um, you are going to need your something to put around your head. I do. If you don't want to, that's fine. You're going to need your stocking cap. Um, if you want to use it fine, if you don't, it's still fine. Um, you're going to need you some bobby pins um, so that the closable kind so that you can make sure that your, your wig stays on because we're going to um, move it back a little bit, okay? We're not going to put it very all the way to the front. So you're going to need that. You are going to need a little bit of hair gel. I always use the dark one um, to put your edges down. And this is water with a oil, some oils I mixed in it. Now what I do is I shake it up. Um, but this this has um, some essential oils in it that I put in here. This is not the original bottle. Okay, this is a bottle that I decided to use um, to keep my um, conditioning spray in that I make up. It also um, gives a sheen to the wig and it gives a good beautiful smell to the wig as well. You can even spray it on your locks too. Um, what's in there is rosemary oil, um, um, eucalyptus oil, um, and a little bit of peppermint, I do believe that's what I put in there. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and get started so we don't run out of time. I'm always concerned about that, right? First, I'm going to just put this on. For the ends of this, I just twist them down around through the sides and just pull it back. Now, can you wear this as a look too? You certainly can if you want to. Um, this is nothing more than a sleeve off of a, um, a um, fishnet shirt that I used to wear for work when I was working with Mac. Okay, then you're going to take this. This is the stocking cap I use. Don't trip. Um, our grandmothers used to use stockings. No, I haven't had this on my foots before putting it on my head. Okay. <laughs> I buy them um, because they come two in a pack, which gives me four of these. And I just put them with my wig stuff, which I have a whole wig ensemble place that I store my wigs and stuff like that. Maybe one day I'll show you. Okay. Take your gel and just put your size down, right? 
and also generally I do um, brush my locks before I put them underneath this thing. Now I'm going to tell you something else. You, I told you already you could spray your locks prior to and then put your cap on. That'd be fine. Um, it's up to you. Okay, with your Afro wig, you're simply going to go ahead and start it from the back. And you remember I said we are not, make sure you got your points down, your ear to ears, right? Bring your own ears out. Um, and you remember I told you it was going to push it back a little bit, right? which is exposing a little bit of your own sideburns and then you're going to take your bobby pins um, put them, get the ones that's closest to your hair color and your wig color here if you get in a brown wig or a light brown wig and you got light brown edges and such don't get black bobby pins because there's a chance when the wind blows if the wind blows where you are um, they're going to be seen and um, you know you ain't got to shame, be ashamed of wearing a wig you certainly don't I don't I, I switch wigs every day almost um, for the during the time I'm wearing them um, you know go ahead and stick a couple pins back here to kind of tap those down but I wear, I change my wigs pretty much every day. I have probably about 20 or 30 wigs. And um, because I'm just the type of person that really likes different, likes different types of looks and stuff like that. Um, so now we have our wig on and in place. And then you're going to get your spray, shake it up. Again, it's water, water and essential oil. It's going, and you can use any essential oil you choose to. Um, I like the ones that I mixed in here because um, they smell good and they're very healthy for my hair, and they smell good and um, it helps for an afro wig to pull it out or any kind of curly wig you don't want to use a pick on your curly wigs okay just use your fingers and the oils um, the, the water oil mix and to give it a good little luster um, shine a little bit of shine for your wig and also, it will um, give your, if you put it on your hair, it'll help with your hair, too. So, that is that. Make sure that you got everything covered. And then you're just going to accessorize with your earrings, your necklace, your of course, no great Afro wig is not is isn't um, complete without a pair of big hooped earrings, right? And just the right makeup look. Um, to go along with it. So there you have it. Very simple, very quick, and it's still keeping you on a natural. And you can also even um, put a head wrap on if you want to, too, right in the front. Um, put a little head wrap on that'll bring a new look, a different look. You can also take a beautiful flower, stick it in the side. Um, so there you have it. Be blessed. God bless you. Uh, women of God, and I hope this has helped you. Bye.